Hey, man, what it is? This is Dean, and I am your host, and this is By Any Means. There go to Cash App, dollar sign Dean By Any Means. There go to PayPal, at Dean By Any Means. Um, Ryan Garcia, let me all at you, my guy. Yeah, 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 yeah. What Charleston White say? Yeah, 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 yeah. Yeah, let me all at you, my guy. Um, Ryan, you is such a fraudulent individual. It's sad. After you lost to Tank, you were so humble. We didn't hear no interviews from you for for a couple of months. You know, you was with you. You Tank was there with you with your family, Oscar De La Hoya and. Bernard Hopkins snuck out the back door on you, you know, by the 12th round. I mean, by, by the by the time that you got dropped and got knocked out, they was already in the parking lot in the limo. <laughs> and you was hurt. And you said Javante Davis' team showed you more love than you ever got over there at Golden Boy. <laughs> And now Tank's a coward. They asked you about everybody. You get the Tank, he's a coward. The guy that made you quit. You didn't get up off a knee. But he's a, you look that man dead in his face and, and bent your head down. But he's the coward. Lord have mercy. Oh, y'all. What world do we live in now, y'all? Like, I really, I really need to know. What world do we live in now? And Devin Haney says that he smelled liquor on your breath. So can we put to bed this Devin's about to fight the best Ryan Garcia that we have seen? How could that be possible if he's a drunk? You remember what y'all used to say about Earl and Terrence, you know? I mean, Devin said he's a drunk. So if Devin says he's a drunk, then how could it possibly be the best Ryan? I'm going to let y'all sit on and think about that. I mean, you got um, two months before the fight. I don't think a professional boxer should be drinking, do y'all? I mean, a guy that actually took his crab seriously, do you think that he should be drinking? Two months before the fight. Now, two things could be true. Either Devin was capping or Ryan probably really got a drinking problem. Let's talk about it, man. I need to know. And Manager Marty, um, words. We need answers. We need answers, y'all. I'm just saying. It can't possibly be the best Ryan Garcia we've seen and he's under the influence. <laughs> I mean, that don't go together, do it, y'all? Didn't Javante Davis say he stopped drinking a couple years ago for those reasons? So I'm just wondering. I mean, after you lost the fight against Javante Davis in devastating fashion, I wouldn't be drinking in training camp and getting ready for a fight. That's just me, y'all. I don't know about y'all. That's just me. <laughs> so can we put the bed that this will be the best Ryan where like he's going up against a better Ryan because I don't think that the Ryan Javante went up against I don't remember Javante saying he was a drunk I remember Javante Davis calling him every other name in the book but I don't remember him saying that he was a drunk but Devin Haney put that out there that the man's a drunk and he smelled alcohol all over his breath so either Devin was lying or this is not the best Ryan Garcia we are about to see. This is a Ryan Garcia who's under the influence in training camp. <laughs> oh my God, y'all. So Ryan, I really need to know, like, the fact that you could call a man a coward that stopped you, why do you still have so much hate for Javante Davis that you didn't display? Right after the fight when you was face-to-face -face with that man. We all saw you face-to-face -face with Javante Davis. You did not call him a coward. You didn't get out there after the fight and say all of the things that you are saying now, sir. 
Do y'all remember him doing that right after the fight? I don't remember him doing that. Do y'all remember that? Didn't Ryan Garcia say against Tank Davis that he would be in the best shape of his life? Didn't his dad say that the rehydration clause is no problem because they only go up to 10 pounds anyway? That is they words. This is Devin words. This is Ryan words. I'm not, I'm not lying on these guys. But y'all get mad, I bring it up. Don't get mad at me that Devin said he a drunk and he don't take his crap serious. A lot of things that people have been saying about Ryan already. But it's a good fight for Devin and it was a bad fight for Javante. So I just need to know what side of the fence are y'all on. Is Devin lying or is Ryan a drunk? Because if Ryan's a drunk, then he's, this is not the best Ryan we've seen. I'm just saying. And Ryan Garcia, man, just how dare you, man? Like, you can't even take your man like, you can't even take your loss like a man. You tried to do that after the fight, but now your true colors is coming to show, man. Your true colors is coming to show. And that's why when Javante now, it's funny how we got hindsight, right? Remember when he asked Javante, after this fight, can we be friends? And Javante Davis said, no, I see why. Javante Davis was completely right for not trying to befriend you, you snake. Ryan Garcia, you are a snake. How you going to sit up there and call Javante Davis a coward, but you all up under Floyd Mayweather's and all of Javante Davis' team? You up under Javante Davis's team. But he's the coward. His team consoled you after the fight, but he's the coward. He let you keep the money that y'all bet on, but he's the coward. He don't even bring you up after the fight for real, for real. But he's the coward. He didn't take a knee. You quit in front of the world, in front of 1.2 million people to be exact. <laughs> You quit in front of the world, Craig. The world, Craig. The world, Craig. Ryan, talk to me. I need to know, Ryan. Don't go out like that, rah Ra. I guarantee that was your nickname when you was a baby, rah Ra. <laughs> Look at badass rah Ra. All you gonna do is la la. <laughs> Badass Ra Ra. All he do is la la. And got put and was at bed going la la. <laughs> it's just a shame, man. Like how these guys just can't walk with integrity, how they can't just stand on a square, how they can't just accept their losses like men, go about it. You know, you can't talk a bunch of crap before the fight. And then make a whole bunch of excuses after the fight, man. Fighters. And then the craziest thing, y'all, we asked all the fighters about this prior to the fight. So that is the part that's even more frustrating because people ask them. So there's not going to be any excuses after the fight? No, there's not going to be any excuses after the fight. Soon as the bell hit, ding, ding, it's an excuse. <laughs> and it's like, it's amazing to me. It's the reason why I had to jump on Regis Pro Grade. You was talking so crazy, and then Dev went in there and pieced you up. You got to take that L, man. It ain't no, you could, it ain't no nothing. You got pieced up. That's what happened. Like, come on, man. Be men out here. It's a shame that a lot of guys not. But y'all already know what this is, man. Dean, bye, any means there go to paypal at dean by any means there go to cash app dollar sign dean by any means and y'all know what this is i'll get at y'all